Hi, my name is Azaro, and this is my speech. Um, when you think of cybersecurity, you think of someone behind a computer, right? Someone who's trying to give you a virus and hack into your computer and look at everything you're doing from your web camera, right? Well, the purpose of this speech is to let you know that that is not the only way someone can attack you. Uh, one of the most common ways uh, attackers out there you know, take information from people is called phishing. And basically phishing is using something to deceive you and to giving out information, personal information of your own or personal information of a business. And um, just by listening to what I have to say can actually save a life or even yours. Um, they are very crafty when it comes to phishing. And the three types of phishing I want to talk about is um, email phishing, vishing, and smishing. Now, the last two sounds really crazy, but it is something real. And it is something that, you know, a lot of people fall victim of daily, you know. So, the first thing I want to talk about is email phishing. And basically, email phishing, you probably, you know, came across something like this before. And um, on, a, on the most common way someone will use this is to say that you won a prize or you got a virus in your phone or, you know, it's something that tells you that you got something going on. They want you to click on that link. And usually when you click on that link, that link will take you to a malicious website and basically install um, viruses into your computer and start to take information from you. Now, that's not the only way people use email, you know, phishing. Uh, it can actually be someone claiming to be a prince in another country and their bank account is frozen. If you can send us some money and, um, you know, so I can feed my family, I will send you something back later. That is another form of phishing. It is the most common one out of all of them because... You know, they can be very persuasive and um, usually, um, you know, when you hear someone is in need of money, you, you, you want to help out. You know, some people want to help out. Some people don't. <laughs> now, there's two types of email phishing up there. You have spear phishing, which is um, the type of phishing that is after a certain target, a certain person. Uh, it might be an accountant of a business. Uh, they might take that accountant's information and use that uh, information to pose as that person and to gain financial information from the company itself. And um, another form is actually welling. Now, spear phishing can be used to actually do welling. And welling is basically just trying to fish a CEO or some kind of higher ranking official in that company um and to be honest with you usually the ceos are not that um they're they're not really you know uh, savvy tech savvy so when they hear certain things or they, they might see an email from their accountant they might think that is the accountant for real because that person knows that accountant's name uh their email their phone number um, their login information, uh, their, their customer number, or not customer number, but employee number. Um, so you, now you can see how crafty they are to get this information from a CEO. Um, now another form out there is vishing and basically vishing is voice over IP, which means phone. Um, basically they will call you on the phone and say they're the IRS, right? Uh, you owe us money, and if you don't pay us, we're going to get the police to arrest you. Or um, you won something, and you need to act now, or you're going to lose your opportunity to get your prize, and we're going to give it to someone else. So this, this form of phishing is basically uh, used to get like credit card information or some kind of information they can use against someone in a business so they can actually pose as you uh, to, you know, 
gain financial information or something. Um, now, the last one I want to talk about is smishing because I know I am on a time limit here. Uh, smishing is basically someone texting you and everything they do on the email is the same thing they would do on that text message. Now, the only thing different about this and actually emails are the fact that they can give you malware that can take information from your phone. Now, you might think, uh, well, you want information from my phone. Well, phones are the next computers out there. People do a lot of things on their phone. They actually, there are some people out there that replace computers for their phone. So, um, I have known people who use their phone, you know, for looking up the banking information, medical history, um, to do anything you would do on a computer on that phone. And, you know, the, that is really dangerous because someone can take your information and pose as you. Now, the most common way people would do um, the vishing and the smishing is they will create some kind of Skype account or some kind of Google Voice account. And they will do something called spoofing a number. And spoofing a number is basically um, getting a number from Skype or Google Voice, and then you put another number on top of it, um, you actually go in there and say, hey, I want this number to show up every time I make a call or every time I do a text. And, you know, a lot of people don't know about that, so they fall for it every single time. Now, there are ways you can keep yourself from being a victim of phishing, and um, these are some of the ways you might want to. Now, email phishing, if you're not really sure, don't click on anything. Uh, if they give you a web page to go to, um, you know, try looking it up first and making sure it's a legitimate web page because sometimes it's not. Um, if it comes to vishing or smishing, um, you know, look up that company information. Um, no comp, no, no um, government facility will call you and say that you owe them something or they will ask you for your cell phone number your cell phone number, your car information, or your social security number because, you know, they're not allowed to do that. And um, Microsoft will never call you to get rid of a virus. So don't fall for it. So so some of these things are basically, you know, common sense. If you think about it, um, if someone's urging you to do something, hang up on them, call the number back. If it goes and it says that this number cannot be um, cannot be reached, you already know from there that that wasn't the actual number that they called you from. So these are some ways you can protect yourself from these types of attacks. Now, my conclusion on the whole thing is you should arm yourself with this knowledge. Um, now that you know that it is out there, there are people doing these types of attacks. Uh, you want to stay on these attacks. You want to learn more about it and report it. Anytime it happens, report it, report it, report it because they do Catch these people who do these things. And um, you could really save a life. Um, um, now That's all I wanted to talk about. Um, hopefully I gave you enough information. And I'm sorry that the video is a little longer than it's supposed to be. But I, I feel like it's very important that you should know these things. Because this thing is real. And a lot of people, I mean, they, they really um, lose, you know family members um you know they you know maybe an argument of why you did this and that i mean people lives have been messed up because of these things so thank you for my time i mean for your time and um hope you like my speech have a nice day